How you doing? It's quite here in this video. Uh, we're going to be covering how you can get the contact details on your LinkedIn Sales Navigator by using Phantom Buster. So let's go. All right. So uh, in this tutorial, let's go and show you how you can easily get the contact details from your LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So, uh, okay. So once you've logged into your Phantom Buster, uh, you want to install these two Phantoms. So you want to install Sales Navigator Search Export and Sales Navigator Profile Scraper. Now, let me share with you what these two things are. So Search export, what this is, it's going to be getting a list of all your prospects from your LinkedIn just into an Excel spreadsheet. That's it. It's just going to prepare the list. Now, this profile scraper is this, it's another phantom that Phantom Bus will run that will go through that, that Excel spreadsheet and it will actually get those contact details. That's it. So it's going to prepare the list and it's going to get um, the contact details from that list. That's all it is. Now, Obviously, you need a copy of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So first of all, in order to start getting the list of contact details for LinkedIn, you need to go to your LinkedIn Sales Navigator, right? And you need to go to your, uh, just go to your lead list. Okay, so let's say that now we're going to be prospecting right now. Now we're going to be coming up with a list of leads. So let's say I want to target a whole bunch of mining companies in Sydney. So I'm going to type in mining, uh, actually, let's go for medical company Sydney okay I'm just just you know coming up with a list okay so I want to target medical companies in in Sydney all right so here's a list there's quite a lot of people in here so um, so we're gonna just be cleaning up this list this search right now so we're gonna be targeting Sydney all right so Sydney I want give me a list of people in Sydney and give me uh, medical companies so it's got to be in uh, just go for actually no you want to go for industry because we're going to be targeting industry medical devices let's go for medical devices and then seniority level which is we want to be targeting all the uh, directors okay directors of mail of medical companies in Sydney that's pretty cool all right and let's just keep it like that so now we've got quite a lot of people here we've got 143 results there and uh, now let's start building the list so you want to select that one there so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be saving a new list so I'm going to create a new custom list and I'm going to call this um, medical companies in Sydney all right so I'm, what I'm doing I'm just building a list uh, I haven't got contact details yet I'm just building a list okay uh, let's let's add some more so I've added 25 people to that list I'm going to add another 25 people to the list so I want to select everyone there save to list go to your medical companies in Sydney so now I've got 50 people on that list all right so let's just stick to just the 50 right now so we want to go to your lead list okay and you want to go to your medical companies Sydney list okay this is the list of all the prospects that potentially could be interested in your product or service if you're selling to me if, if you're selling medical products okay now the first step is you want to clean your list because uh, LinkedIn sales navigator what it does is it will give you the list but it will sometimes it will give you the wrong wrong contact details so if I would click on this guy there see biotechnology that one's good Cooper vision medical devices that looks good okay medical care device technologies medical okay Medtronic striker medical you want to just go through your list and you just want to clean it up okay um, sometimes it'll give you the wrong person in in your search I, I, you know so this that's what I always do just go in just quickly have a look have a look and um, if you don't see if you see someone that does not fit the bill just remove them okay so for example let's say that I want to uh, I decided that you know this med care is not relevant to my prospects, so you want to go through your list. I'm going to remove that guy there. I'll remove that guy there. So you just spend a few minutes just cleaning your list first. Okay, we're just cleaning up the list. You want to go remove, remove from list. So now, let's say I've spent a few minutes in cleaning up my list. Now, now this is the prospect. These are the people I want to contact. These guys uh, fit the bill, and I'm ready to get their contact details using Phantom Buster, so I can start email blasting them and calling them and so forth. Okay, so now that's ready. We'll, we prepared the list in LinkedIn. Now you want to go back to Phantom Buster, and you've already set up those two phantoms, which is the search export and the profile scraper. So now, so now let's get started. Um, so if we go to the search export, we got to go to this one first. Click on this one there, 
And then the next part is we want to um, set it up. So you want to go to edit. So now we're going to be setting up a new campaign. Click on edit. And the first part is you need to um, grab a cookie, <laughs> okay, a session cookie. So what's a session cookie? It's just simply a um, just a inf bit of information telling Phantom Buster that you're, you're the right person. That's all it is. And this is going to get a bit technical because um, because I'm going to show you the manual way of doing it. You can actually easily get it by downloading Chrome or Firefox and you just install install these two and I'll just grab the, the cookie by itself. But I'm just going to show you the manual way of doing it. But don't panic, okay? Don't don't freak out. Just take your time and, and go through it. So this is how you get the session cookie. So we have to copy and paste the session cookie here. So go back to your LinkedIn. You want to right click and go to inspect element. Okay. And don't be don't be scared of all this code. We're not going to be dealing with it. We want to go to storage. I'm using Safari by the way. And you want to go to cookies and um, I found it in here. So go to cookieslinkedin.com and you want to look for the name li underscore a li underscore a because that's what Phantom Buster needs. It's saying look you're looking for the sales navigator cookie name which is li underscore a. So when you're looking at the code look for a value called li underscore a and you want to whatever the value is there that's the cookie value there. That is the cookie. So I'm going to be selecting that whole thing there. I want to copy that whole thing there. Okay, that's my cookie value. And I want to paste it into there. Okay. Um, so paste your session cookie there. Paste it there. Beautiful. That's it. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? And then go save. And then searches to scrape. Okay, so this part here, it's asking you, what is the link in LinkedIn that I want to scrape? So once again, we want to go to this list here, which is your medical companies in Sydney. Just simply copy the link there and paste it into there. Was that easy or what, man? Go to spreadsheet settings. So uh, just leave this blank. You're good to go. Go save. Behavior, leave the top part blank. But in here, you want to um, have the results file um, relevant to what you've searched because we're going to be using it later on. So I'm just going to call it medical companies Sydney okay all right so save and then just leave this one is where it is just go save that's it now we're good to go now we're gonna run we're gonna run it right now hopefully it's not going to come across with any errors if there's any errors we'll go ahead and fix it but let's go launch usually this takes just up to about a minute for it to run so now it's right now it's authenticating it's just checking to see whether the cookie is correct it's connected to LinkedIn, so it means that you've successfully authenticated. It means using that cookie that I've just pasted in there. It's connected as myself. Now, what it's doing right now, it's going through, it's processing this list there. So it's going through my entire list here. Okay. It's going through my entire list there. It's just preparing the list. That's all it's doing, preparing the list. Saving data, running 100%. It's done. We are done. Okay. Fantastic. So we're not doing anything with this yet. Uh, now now it's up to Phantom Buster. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be getting the contact details. So let's go to Profile Scraper now. Same thing as before. All right. You want to launch a new campaign, just go edit. Now it's going to ask for your session cookie once again. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it again. Go back to your LinkedIn. Inspect element. Go to your storage. Go to your cookies. I had, I had five cookies last night. It was so bad. That was my cheat meal. Because it's coming across to Christmas, we got this Christmas gift, and uh, someone left the, all these cookies and stuff, and it was the macadamia ginger cookies. So good, man. So good. I think I gained some weight from that. That's my cheat meal for the week. Anyway, I've got my cookies there. I've copied it. Whoops. And I am going to paste it into there. All right. Fantastic. Now, um, once we've pasted in the cookies, uh, you want to talk to... Uh, the next part is you want to link that that file that we created in the previous Phantom. That you know, remember how we created that Excel spreadsheet with the the name results my um, results medical company Sydney. We're going to be looking for that now. So now we're telling Phantom Buster, okay, what is that Excel spreadsheet that we're connecting to to scrape the contact details? So it was called results medical company Sydney .csv file. That's what we created before, right? So select that one there. Fantastic. Um, and just leave that one blank. It's probably going to come up with an error, but it'll still work. So don't worry about that. Just go save. Okay. Now the behavior. Now this is part where, um, now Phantom Buster is recommending that you scrape 150 profiles per day. Now it's important that, um, you don't want to go above the, 
the recommendation because if you scrape too much, LinkedIn is going to notice that hey, you know, you're running running software, you're just blasting and 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 you know you're abusing our software and stuff and you can get banned right so i don't know whether this is legal or not but you need to check the the legal terms you know but um but i think it is legal but i'm not too sure but uh i've just set up as 80 so right now it says i'm only going to be scraping just 80 people per day and that's it if you're scraping millions of people then obviously you're going to be flagged right but it's saying phantom bus is saying 150 for profiles per day and then um, you gotta be careful with that one there. So I'm just going with 80 for now. Results file, just call it um, Medical Company Sydney. Sydney, okay. And then uh, fields to keep is this is what um, because when you when you get the when you get your Excel spreadsheet back from Phantom Buster, it's going to give you a whole bunch of data. It's going to give you the email, phone number, but it's going to give you a whole bunch of data such as the headline. Um, the description stuff you don't really need it but if you need it you need it but it's gonna give you too much information so I'm just gonna just give me just first name last name location name job title give me the email address and phone number that's all I need and just go save you can leave that blank if you want but that's okay um, and then select the email discovery service so this is where it's going to be using phantom buster or hunter IO drop contact to get the email address right I'm just using phantom buster for now so just go save uh, just leave that is where it is and just go save and that's pretty much it we have successfully configured it that's it now we're ready to launch so you go click on launch okay right now it's launching yep that's fine remember incorrect spreadsheet column name so it's just saying that it just doesn't identify one of the column names it's okay uh, it's still gonna work um, so now right now it's running so so opening LinkedIn sales people okay so right now it's going through that um, Excel spreadsheet it's coming up it's generating all those lists of leads right now and this is probably going to take about a um, one hour to run okay so it's going to take about one hour to run and um, and then yeah so I'm not going to leave it recording so what I'll do is uh, I'll show you what happens when it finishes and you download the Excel spreadsheet and what it looks like okay so here's one I prepared earlier all right so this is it okay so as you can see when you generate the list um, of prospects using Phantom Buster and LinkedIn this is what you'll see so you can see the first name last name the location company name job title and most importantly the contact details so I've got the email address here and I've got the phone number here so right now I can actually pick up the phone and I can call Sophie and I can you know book a meeting with Sophie if I'm really good you know <laughs> uh, I can email Sophie right now you know and I can email these other people right now okay so now I've got my list of prospects. I can do my email newsletters. I can email blast them and, and send them to a webinar, whatever it is. Obviously, you need to check the spam laws. You don't want to be spamming people, right? If you're sending out a thousand emails and that's spamming, but if you're sending out 10 emails, that's okay, right? So just double check the law on that one there. And you might notice that there are a few um, blanks there. So notice how this guy is Simon. I don't have his email there and I don't have his phone number. This is very normal. Um, with Phantom Buster, sometimes it can't get your uh, your phone number. It can't get the phone number, it can't get the email address. Sometimes that happens and that's okay. That's very normal. So you can probably scrape probably about 80 or 70% of the list. You can probably get that. Um, so just keep in mind that. So if you've got your list of 10, 100 prospects, you can probably get about 70 of those people, okay? And out of all these people, um, maybe one, two, or maybe even a, a three or five or whatever it is might not even be working. So sometimes it will come back as invalid. That's normal as well. But out of all this, if I were to send an email blast, I might get maybe one or two responses, right? Or maybe three responses. And that's enough. That's enough, right? So out of the hundred cold emails that you do, you might get three people to agree to a meeting three people to agree to a meeting and out of those three maybe one people says yes and that's it you've made a sale and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it you know so this gives you a lot of power um, uh, you can create your own list you can create your own phone list and imagine how much time you spend on creating a list like this it takes it will take you hours to try and find the contact details of one person you know, going to go to Google, you got to stalk them on Facebook, you got to do all these other things, and that's one person, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it pays off. It pays off because if you just get one sale, it pays for Phantom Buster. You know, I mean, that Phantom Buster isn't sponsoring me to do this or anything. I mean, I discovered this myself, but um, but yeah, you know. Anyway, that is it. That is 
Phantom Buster and how to get emails from LinkedIn Sales Navigator using Phantom Buster. Um, hope you found this tutorial very useful. Uh, I use this process every single morning when I'm about to hit the phones. I need to scrap my prospect list and make sure I hit the phones. So I uh, hope you like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, if there's any other tutorials that you want me to review um, or, or make, just let me know. And I'll be more than happy to provide them for you. So uh, I hope you like this video. Please like it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.